Dr. Bones. Where are we now? Well, it would seem we have been situated. Well, we do not always know what we have learned until we have learned it. Very perceptive. What's our task? To understand activity theory. Which is going to be tough. Well, surely activity theory is about activity. Does that not mean everything we do? For the first generation, the theory focused on the individual and the task. Ooh, that sounds like acquisition. Maybe. It is a triangle. The learner, the object, and the tool. Like using my knife to break open the lock on the door? The second generation tells us that this activity has to take place within a culture or social context. So me being able to open that door depends on the door itself, the tool I use, and how good my papa was at doing it. Yes, you will have limitations, strategies, systems, and the vision of labor within a community. This is starting to get complicated. Come the third generation, the theory views learning as an activity that goes beyond the individual, their objectives and the tools they use. All the different parts become interrelated and affected. Wow! That is more complicated than an episode of 24. It sure is. Angie E. Strom says that all human activity and the interaction of six inseparable and mutually constitute elements. Subject to object and outcome rules community and division of labor. For Angie Strom it is about looking at the bigger picture. Who are the subjects of learning? How are they defined and located? Why do they learn? What makes them make the effort? What do they learn? What are the contents and outcomes of learning? Dot finally, how do they learn? What are the key actions or processes of learning? Woo, that definitely hurts my head. So my problem is that I need to open this door, and possibly many other doors. Because I have grown up in a community of opportunists. So I learn from those around me and by using the tools and situations available to me. As well as learning by experience. I know that there are some doors I cannot open. However I do this to expand my horizons, and have adventures, and be useful to you Dr. Bones. Maybe. If you were doing it because your existing world was threatened and could find no other option, then it would be defensive learning. But I interpret and expand my activity and respond in different ways. Thus making it expansive, but if the door always opens, will I learn anything? Or maybe expensive. I am still confused. Can we go on a different quest now? Maybe if we participate some more, it will become clear.